Hello and welcome to ModCut Mayhem. The idea behind this week's video is to experiment a little bit with artist pastels and um, just see how they work on model kits really and uh, the kind of effects you can achieve by mixing with varnishes, decal fixer and uh, a few other things and even just straight water. So that's my plan for this video and it's, it's quite straightforward just to see what happens and learn a little bit. I hope you get something from this. Cheers! These metal tins are quite handy for holding paint and pigment, so they're worth an investment. I bought some artist pastels from a well-known site. They were the same that a lot of other people have used in their reviews in terms of using these type of pastels. I thought probably just keep with the status quo and, uh, and try these ones. Yeah, pretty simple really. They're soft pastels rather than the hard pastels which are around and very kind of chalky feel to them. You just take them out the colour you want and then using a knife scrape it down and collect it onto a, a piece of paper. You can mix colours, at least that's what I found. You, there wouldn't seem to be any issues with that. You can just add a little bit of another colour just to lighten it up a little bit. And then collect it into these uh, metal pots that are used for paint mixing. Uh, they're very handy. I, I got them a while back. It's very dry. You can just paint it on straight like that. That was my idea was just just try a few different things to sort of see if I could get it to stick actually onto the paint. To start with I just painted on straight from the um, the powder mix. It goes on fine, brushes and you leave a little bit of residue but it gives you a good looking dry kind of dusty mud. Now the proof is how does it actually stay on. I took a cotton bud and uh, they're called q-tips by some people and just wiped away some of it and saw actually how much came off of the actual model. As you can imagine, a fair bit comes off when it's painted straight on. So there was no surprise there, really. Next, I thought I'd try some varnish. And this is the varnish I had at hand, so I used this. The viscosity is quite strange on this one. It, it, you, when you, you pour the varnish in, and I don't know if it's just this brand, it was very hard to mix the actual pastel in with it. It took a while to just get it into a kind of a paste to stir it for a bit. But it does go eventually. Just keep stirring. Uh, yeah, and then painting this on. It was a lot darker and maybe I'd put too much varnish, but it was quite thin. It was a, a kind of a, quite a watery mix. I wasn't sure how it was going to help. Maybe if I'd added a little bit more of the pigment, it would be a thicker mix. That'd be worth trying in future. I used this old DUKW Duku. Um, that seemed like a good good test bed for uh, this kind of mud rather than the little jeep that I'd started with. Again, once I came to with the Q-tip, nothing came away from this. It literally was stuck solid. So that might be a good thing for kind of like kind of wet mud look. You could use that for sort of a chassis maybe or something. But it's it stuck flat with that, and there was no nothing on the on the bud. Next, seen somebody using thinner, so I tried that. Just again, any brand, but this is the one I had. Mixed that up. I tried to go a bit more sort of easy on the actual thinner this time, just so that the mix was a little bit more thicker. But that mixed up fine. There was no uh, no issues with the kind of the surface tension. It just literally it mixed in fine. Paints on fine. It actually didn't dry a lot darker. That was quite cool. You can see it's, it's still fairly light. And when I put the cotton bud on this, very little amount came off, just, just a very small amount. So, you know, it kind of worked. It's still there. You'll still get it on your hands when you, move, you know, put your hands on that sort of section. But after a while, it will stay as a good base. That's a possible way of doing it, using just thinner. And it doesn't dry too dark, so that's good as well. After that, I just tried plain water just to see how what that did. I assumed that it would dry and it'd be the same as the just applying it kind of straight. But actually, it did actually stick a little bit. I would not used pastels or pigments very much before. It was a good learning experiment to see what worked and what didn't. Again, it also dried in the color that was, you know, a kind of drier mud. It wasn't dark like the varnish. Tried just with a cotton bud and, you know, a fair amount comes off. I'd say it actually that the thinner was better than the water. 
if you're going to use a liquid probably i'd go with a thinner over water just because it seems to hold it a bit better and you don't lose much of the brightness and it stays a pretty much light mud i thought I'd give pledge a go or clear as everybody calls it I just mixed it up. This again was kind of a bit like the other varnish. It dried a bit darker, but actually it looked pretty good. I decided this was probably the best version if you're going to do um, a kind of wet mud, as it were, but not not kind of real stodgy stuff. Just splashed, you know, going through puddles. It kind of gave that kind of good look, you know, like a darker mud. And you can see when you put the cotton bud on it, nothing comes off. Again, that was a winner, I think. And it actually looked a little bit lighter than the actual varnish. So I'd say it was probably a bit better to use the clear rather than the other varnish. Now I'd seen somebody had used Decal Fixer. I wasn't sure how that was going to work, so I thought give it a go, just try it. And it actually turned out quite surprisingly <laughs> well. It actually worked. I'd say on the whole, actually, it's quite a good way of doing it. I wasn't very particularly sort of rigid in how much mix I used. I just went with the flow, you know, and uh, I probably could have done a kind of more strict experiment on this, but it just seemed I wanted to try a few ideas and see what worked and what didn't. Yeah, it was kind of the best way. Just try the different ones and see what works and then mix them in a kind of combo after to achieve the sort of the end result of a bit of wet mud that's drying out. So it's, that's very handy for vehicles. I also poured the last of the pigments on top of it and just splodged that down to see how it dry in terms of if it was a lot thicker and it actually dried quite well. A certain amount did come off but um, not enough to be worried about it, you know, it, it was pretty much fixed there. So you can see it's dried and again the thinner version drives like wet mud and then the thicker where I would poured on the last of the pigment was a lot lots of more sludgy and that's dried really well and only a small amount came off onto the actual um, cotton bud and I was scrubbing quite hard so on the whole I, I was quite impressed with that I'd say that was a that was a good way of doing it at the end of the day it's preference and these are just some ideas to sort of get around that problem of pigment actually being smudged off the model as you handle it I, I don't like that personally I don't see the point of putting something on that's just going to come off on your hands <laughs> if you handle the model so in the end, I just put some of the pigments together with some clear and, and dotted them and blotched them inside the footwell of the Jeep just to kind of show you what can be achieved in terms of the look. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm quite chuffed with that. That was well worth doing and uh, it kind of, you know, gives you some more ideas for using these kind of pigments. That's the end of the video for this week. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe below. It helps out enormously if you can do that. I'll see you next week. Cheers watching. Ta-ra. Cheers.